Okay, I want everyone to take a collective sigh with me at this. <sighs> so we had an amazing development, a very amazing, amazing development. In fact, come with me so I show you such amazing developments. So other David has created this. You'll notice it looks remarkably similar to a normal diesel heater, except it's uh, it's a bit longer, and it's got quite a lot of copper pipe work attached. What we have here is a basic diesel heater that's been chopped, and then has had a large copper block made and machined in there, and it's got four TEG modules mounted onto the outside, and then on top of them, water cooling blocks, and then the whole thing wrapped in, you know, like... Uh, ceramic kind of insulation you can sort of just see in there kind of the woolly look about it and what that did or does is generate uh, basically enough power to run it here and we have the bobble vans uh, water cooler well it would it would be a heater if you put it at the other end of the heater but we're using it at this side to cool the water down via the incoming air which passes through the heater so basically you're not losing any of the heat that, you know, would be... So it's being absorbed by the tags, goes through, passes through the tags, then the heat from that is then recirculated back round and goes back through. So you're not losing any heat in that sense. That's just the uh, water tank for the bubble vans. Uh, the little water pump, which David, other David, has made a modification to the ECU. You see this bit here? So when the fan is running, it triggers a relay and the relay runs the water pump, so the water pump runs the whole time that the fan's running, so it cools down all the tags and the heater all at the same time, so nothing ever overheats. <sighs> right, and that's where, that's where the development had got to. Oh, it was all singing and dancing, it was absolutely fucking brilliant. But, uh, there was a problem, and it's not Mr. Wabs. I didn't film it, that was my problem. So what happened was, I thought I would set it all up so I could run it and test for leaks, etc. And I just made a couple of short clips and some pictures. I'm going to dig the pictures out of my phone so I can look at them and describe them to you as I put them on screen. So, where is it? I've lost them now. So I took a picture to show uh, other David. This is on screen showing... There's, that's the picture of it doing two amps. I had it running at a full three amps output from the tags going back into the battery. And then also there was a quick video I did. Uh, this is the combined output. Like I put the clamp meter over... Where is my clamp meter? I took the clamp meter and I put it over the supply on the battery. So basically any power coming out and any power going back in we go through the same wire, so basically what you see there is the fluctuation of it. Basically the heater running on 500 milliamps of power because all the rest of the power was being produced by the TEG modules. The only outlier to that at the time was the one amp being drawn by the pump, the coolant pump itself, so that was like negative one amps. So we were like... Uh, not quite a whole lot, like let's just say 700 milliamps away from it being a fully, you know, self sustaining, not self sustaining, but imagine so if you were to run this on a battery overnight, you would wake up in the morning and your battery would be at the same level of charge running the whole night. That is the stage that we'd got to. And that's what it was when I left it. And then I came back out the next day. And I came back out the next day, fired it back up to get almost no output from the TEG modules whatsoever. And as far as I can tell, you know, I'm going to zoom you in on this bit over here. Oh, wait, I'll just bring the camera out and show you. That'll be much easier. As far as I can tell, this fancy ass uh, Genesun. GVB8 boosting has shit the bed as the uh, LED no longer lights up. Now this was running, this was this was the device that was taking the TEG module and input on the panels and outputting 3 amps. Came back next day, 
no lights on and from my diagnosis with a multimeter as far as I can tell the input panel and the battery are now directly connected so I have a horrible feeling that during the night at some point this is shit the bed it has then reconnected the battery over to the tag modules and has run the tag modules at full battery power the full night so I don't know what status the tag modules are just now or how badly damaged they are if they're damaged at all I've currently got it wired hold on, I can zoom in on this bit so this is the connection where all the tag modules come out uh, I've got it wired in series just now which should, if they were working, or rather when they were working, I had an open voltage of about 80 volts out of the four tag modules I think I tested it the other day, I had a whopping 12 volts out of the whole system after the tag modules had been run backwards for a whole night thanks to the Jenna Sun. So today, in this video, what we're going to do is put it all back together, uh, fire it up and then see what voltage we get back from our possibly Okay, well it's been running now for a few minutes, so it should be plenty hot enough and we've got a whopping three and a half volts out of four tags in serial serial series. Like I say, that should be 70 or 80 volts. So kinda think it's safe to say they're fucked. Right, so I'm gonna have to get a voltage reading off each tag now and see if it's one that's fucked or if it's all of them. Fuck's sake. Well, I wired in four little uh, voltage displays. And as you can see, none of them are on. And they're supposed to display from 2.5 volts to 30 volts. And none of them are lighting up. I tried with a multimeter. Best reading I can get is 0.02 millivolts. No, well, 0.02 volts or 20 millivolts out of uh, some of the tags. So yeah, it's safe to say, they are absolutely, totally Donald Ducked. Oh, that's very disappointing. Oh man, this is disappointing. I mean, we went from having it outputting 3 amps, which is almost enough to fully run itself, to outputting absolutely fuck all because of this bastard right here has murdered all of the tag modules yeah I'm going to have to email them because I mean no, these are these are expensive and let's say if you put oh uh, well, actually I'm expect I put the multimeter between you know the panel and the battery and there's, an, there's a connection it's actually got continuity which I didn't think there would be you know when it's not doing anything and if I connect this up to a battery and then put a power supply on that, it maxes out the power supply uh, straight away, like oh, it's, yeah that's it, and there's no light, there's no, there's, this no longer flashes no standby, no charging, no full, no red error, nothing I am disappointed and slightly angry because those tags are fucking expensive and we're going to have to get more and then take all this apart and rebuild it and do it all again but that's enough for today for this because it's raining outside and, and I'm upset I'm just going to go inside and have a cup of coffee and that'll do us as always though thanks for watching